Some time ago, I published a video on how to configure SDR trunk to receive trunked systems like the Ohio Mark system by importing the configuration from radio reference. I didn't realize at the time that that required a premium subscription, and I've had some questions since then about how to do this if you don't have a premium subscription. People seem to struggle with that a bit, so I'm going to put this video up to show how to do that. When we first start SDR trunk, it's totally unconfigured. So this is a clean install of SDR trunk, nothing, nothing set up. And you can see it's just on random frequencies. It looks like somewhere in the FM broadcast band at the moment. So how do we find out what frequencies we need it on? How do we configure that, etc.? Well, we'll start off with radio reference again. Notice that I am not logged in. I am not signed in at all. I'm just in anonymously. I'm even in a uh, private browsing window to make sure that I don't have any extra privileges here. I'm going to go to the database, radio reference database, and then I live in Hamilton County, Ohio, so that's where I'm going to demo this for. Other systems obviously may have some differences. I can only tell you what I've experienced personally, so you may have to adjust this based on where you live, but hopefully this will give you a pretty good starting point. I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to Ohio. I'm going to click on Cincinnati, and that takes us to Hamilton County. Now on here, what I'm looking for is this Hamilton County trunk system right here. So the Ohio Marks IP Multi-Agency Radio Communications, I'm going to click on that. And we can see that it's a Project 25 Phase 1. APCO 25 is the way that it works. So the first piece of information that I need are frequencies. The good news is, is that I only need the control frequencies. And so in my case, I want to find the control frequencies for Hamilton County, which are right here. And so I'm going to position this so that I can easily, whoops, so that I can easily see them. And then I'm going to go into my SDR trunk. I'm going to open the playlist editor. And then I'm going to go to my channels. And now if I get it so that I can see both of these on the screen at the same time, I can start to set up a channel. So I want a new channel. It's going to be a phase or a P2 P25 phase two trunk system. We're going to call the system Ohio Marks IP. The site I'm just going to call it Hamilton. It's not really important what you call these. And then I'm going to just say uh, Ohio Marks IP Hamilton. Again, name it whatever you want. And then here's where I need to put in those control frequencies. So I'm going to put in 851.1625. We're going to add 851.250. And I'm going to add 851.300. And I'm going to save this. Now, this is actually um, operational at this point. I'm only going to show you this very briefly because it's going to pick up all kinds of stuff, some of which I don't want to republish on YouTube. But if I do this right now, it's going to show me, it's going to start playing all of the playlists for me. Oh, you may have to adjust some things down here too, depending on your system. Um, in my case, C4FM is the correct choice. So I'm only going to play this just very briefly and you'll hear some traffic come through. 48, 44, really, really, right. so you could already see it was receiving, um, and I was getting talk group IDs on my left, and you couldn't see it, but there was also talk group IDs here in the, in the right. And you can also see that it's retuned to the correct frequencies to pick up um, my channel. So that's a quick check to make sure that I've got it set up right. Um, but I don't want to hear everything going on in the state. That's not what I'm interested in. So we need to set up an alias list. So we can do a new alias list here. And I'm just going to call this Hamco aliases. Again, call it whatever you want. Uh, I don't know if I have to save that or not, but I will. And then I'm going to go over to the aliases tab here. Choose my alias list. And then I'm need, I need to start adding aliases. So two things you need to know. With the Ohio Mark system, 
well, any system, you can probably get the talk groups on the radio reference page. I'm on the same page I was on before. Here's where I got the frequencies from. But then here's the list of talk groups. What you can see if you notice here, let me clear my search results. I'm here on the page. There are a lot of talk groups on this system because it's a statewide system. Now, if I had the premium subscription to radio reference, I'd be able to just import these directly um, and that is what I demonstrated in my other video, and that is the easiest way to do it. But, if you don't have the premium subscription and you don't want to purchase one, it's okay. You can still make this work. What I can do is I can pick out the talk groups that I'm interested in. In my case, I know that the talk groups I care about happen to be labeled as 31 space because Hamilton County is county number 31 in Ohio. So I'm gonna go down and see if I can find them that way. Okay, so here we go. So I found the 31s. So here's 31 common. And what I really care about right now for this demonstration is really just fire dispatch. We'll use this as our demonstration. And then we may also um, throw in law enforcement dispatch. So what I notice right off is that the dispatch groups that I care about this one's 21021, 21022, 21023, and then let's take a look at the law, 21071, 21072, and 21073. So those are nicely clustered. So the lowest number there is the 21021. So let's go back to our playlist editor. And this won't necessarily be intuitive, but I'm going to show you a shortcut to manage the chaos without doing a lot of work. First, we're going to create an alias, and I'm going to call this one Low Range Mute. You'll see why in just a moment. I'm not going to. I'm going to turn Listen off, so I don't want to hear these. And I'm going to add an APCO 25 Talk Range group, and I want the range to be from zero to 21020 which is just one below the lowest talk group number I care about. I'm going to save that. I'm going to create another new alias, and I'm going to call this mid-range mute. I'm going to turn listen off again. I'm going to add another talk group range. Nope, I clicked the wrong thing talk group range. And in this case, I'm going to put it one above that this this 31 FD central, which is the last one I want to listen to right now. So I'm going to say 21024. And for the high side, I'm going to go just below that law enforcement I wanted to hear, which is 21071. So I'm going to make this 21070. And I'm going to save that. And finally, I'm going to create one last one, and we're going to call this high range mute. Again, I'm going to turn listen off. I'm going to add another talk group range, and I'm going to go one above this law enforcement central that I want to hear. So that's going to be 21074. And then up to the maximum, 65535. And I'm going to save that. Now, let's see what effect that has. So before when I started to play the channel, we were hearing all kinds of stuff. This should knock that down considerably. Hi, 9, William 17, at check up. Oh, William 17, okay, thanks. Happy. All right, so here you can see that some other channels are coming through. They're being identified as high range mute, and we're not hearing them which is exactly what I was after. I didn't want to hear all of these other random channels. So let's go back here. Let's stop the playback. And I'm going to add an identifier. And this time I'm going to say talk group. And this talk group is going to be 21071. I'm going to save that. Let's add another one. 31 LE West. Law. Add talk group 21072, save, do another one, 31LE Central, 
And you can see too that on the group it lets me auto-complete from my previous entry if I wish. And uh, 21073, I'm going to uh, skip setting up the fire dispatches that I showed you because uh, that's just going to be more of the same. But let's go ahead and play this again and see how this affects how it works. All right, now we've got our alias name showing up, 31 yeah, LE East, Central West, they're all showing up here. So our aliases are working. Let's go back to the playlist editor, stop this, and that is how you do it. That's all there is to it. Um, as a bonus, I'll mention if you know how to do text file manipulation, if you have software development experience or are just really good with uh, text editors and, and macros and automation and such, there is a shortcut. What you could do is you could figure out a way to copy and paste the talk group information from radio reference here. There's probably a number of ways that you could do that pretty easily, just copying and pasting and doing some text file cleanup. And then these alias lists are all just stored in your playlist configuration, which is an XML file. On Windows, it's under the users directory. So in my case, C colon users and then my username, and then there's an SDR trunk directory that gets created, and under that there's a playlist directory. And then you'll find the playlist file as an XML file in there. If you open that up, it's pretty trivial to see how the format works. So you could automate populating your playlists, um, or your alias lists, rather, that way. All right, hopefully this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.